Today we are going to be learning about variables. As we know, there are four basic operations in mathematics. Addition, like 7 plus 1. Subtraction, like 10 minus 6. Multiplication, like 3 times 5. And division, like 8 divided by 4. There are also combined operations, like 2 plus 6 minus 4 or 2 times 4 plus 9. All these are examples of mathematical expressions. That means we can use the word expression instead of the words addition, subtraction, or any other mathematical operation. In mathematics, a variable is a symbol that represents any number we want. That symbol is usually just any letter of the alphabet. For example, instead of saying 1000 plus 1000 plus 2000 plus 2000, we can create a variable A equal to 1000 and a variable B equal to 2000 and say A plus A plus B plus B which is a shorter expression. We can even write a shorter expression, 6 times A, or 3 times B. All these expressions are the same, they are equal to 6,000. So remember, a variable is just a letter used to stand for a number. For example, if I write C plus 5, the result of this expression can change, depending on what the value of c is. If c is equal to 1, then c plus 5 is going to be equal to 6. If c is equal to 10, then c plus 5 is going to be equal to 15. If c is equal to 9, how much is c plus 2? That's right. If c is equal to 9, then c plus 2 is going to be equal to 11. Each symbol we use in mathematics has a name. For example, we use this word to represent this symbol or this word to represent this symbol. We can even use different words to represent the same symbol. So if we say the sum of 5 and 7, we can easily turn this text into a mathematical expression, 5 plus 7. But what if we say the sum of a number and 7? How can we turn it into a math expression? Correct. It's time to use variables. As we know, a variable is a letter that represents any number. Let's use the letter n. So, the sum of a number in 7 turns into this. Six times a number is equal to 30. How to turn this text into a mathematical expression? Correct. This is the answer. When a variable is multiplied by a number, we can omit the multiplication sign.
If x is equal to 20, how much is x plus 13? That's right. If x is equal to 20, then x plus 13 is equal to 33. If y is equal to 17, how much is y plus 4? That's correct. If y is equal to 17, then y plus 4 is equal to 21. If a is equal to 6, how much is 5 times a? That's right. If a is equal to 6, then 5 times a is equal to 30. If n is equal to 15, how much is 2 times n? That's correct. If n is equal to 15, then 2 times n is equal to 30. If b is equal to 7, how much is 12 minus b? That's right. If b is equal to 7, then 12 minus b is equal to 5. If c is equal to 10, how much is 10 divided by c? That's correct. If c is equal to 10, then 10 divided by c is equal to 1. If x is equal to 45, how much is x plus 31? That's right. If x is equal to 45, then x plus 31 is equal to 76. If a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 14, how much is a plus b? Correct. The answer is 23. If x is equal to 41 and y is equal to 18, how much is x minus y? That's correct. The answer is 23. If n is equal to 7 and m is equal to 7, how much is m minus n? Correct. The answer is zero. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.